Hi there, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Sasha and I'm CDN Girl Cash Stuffer. So I just got paid, so I thought I would work out how I'm allocating these funds to all of my variable expense envelopes and my sinking funds and savings challenges. For those of you who don't know, I have a small business, which is what provides for me. And I also work part-time at my family's business where I am a florist. And then I have some side hustle income that comes in as well. So for those of you who watch my videos here, thank you so, so much. I did just receive a payment from YouTube because I've recently been monetized about three months ago. So we are going to be cash stuffing those funds today along with my paycheck from my self-employment. So so I've recently made the decision to pay myself weekly as opposed to bi-weekly. Bi-weekly does coincide with my uh, day job. However, um, I receive extra income from places such as on here as I've been monetized. So it just makes more sense for me to hold on to the money and then budget every single Monday. So yeah, today's cash stuffing will be a bit less than the usual videos you see. But with that said, I'm going to be cash stuffing on a weekly basis. So you'll be seeing more of me. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to count my cash here and just make sure that I have the correct amount and then we will dive right in. All right, so 775 and that is what I anticipated. I will just mention that I do not cash stuff any of my bills. I leave that money in my bank account and yeah apologize if I sound a little bit off today. I'm fighting something. This has been ongoing for far too long where I just have not been feeling like myself, but um, I thought I was on the mend and yeah, it. I don't know if it's like really, really bad seasonal allergies or if I'm actually getting sick. So anyways, what am I doing here? Actually, let's just do this one because I have it in my hands. We are going to add to my monthly savings challenge. This is my goal to save $5,000 after a year. This is an item that I've handmade myself. I make these envelopes and it is available in my shop if you wanna check it out. So I'm gonna be adding $130 to today's envelope. And like I mentioned, because I'm doing this weekly now, I'll usually, going forward, just need to fill one amount, whereas before I was having to do two. I'll shade that in later. I'm gonna cash stuff my variable expense binder here. So. These are going to be different amounts than what I'm used to. Groceries, I'm putting $80 in there. That'll be enough for myself for the week. I'm actually pretty good on groceries right now, so I wouldn't be surprised if I have quite a bit of money left over. Um, and then I'll decide if I want to carry that money forward to the following week because I might have to do like a larger haul at that time. So we're just going to try this out, see how this works. Dining out will be getting 60 My fun envelope, I'm only going to be putting $10 in. And this is just kind of like my fun money. I can spend it however I want. Household, I'm adding $10 to. So let's do a bill exchange here. And then my gas envelope, I'm going to be putting $40 in. And I have a very full tank right now. So that should be more than enough. I think gas right now is 209 a liter in my town, which is pretty high. And I would imagine it's just gonna go up from there now that summer's on its way. Okay, now let's move on to my sinking funds. My clothing envelope's empty. I recently bought a really cute top. So we gotta work on building this back up again. I'm putting $20 in there. My beauty envelope, I'm going to be putting $20 in as well. I need to start getting serious about this one because I'm going to be putting some color in my hair when I get my hair done next. So gifts I am not adding to. My medical envelope I'm going to be putting in. Actually, I'm not adding to this one either. What am I thinking here? I've got $85 so far. Ford's envelope will be getting ten dollars. 
can't think today. <laughs> Not feeling well. Um, so I did a bill exchange. My bedroom overhaul I'm not adding to and in fact I think I'm going to change this envelope and just name it like home decor and then this can just buy be to purchase things for my home and then Costco I'm also not adding to. So moving on now to some savings that I have going on. Currently saving up to have three months worth of expenses for my emergency fund. So the last time I cash stuffed I completed the challenge again which is this here. Each little emoji has a different dollar value assigned to it. And when it's completely filled, I save $1,000. So I currently have $3,000 saved up. It's all in my high interest savings account. And I haven't shaded this tracker in since cleaning it, but we saved up $100 last time. So I will quickly shade that in here. And today I'm going to be adding $100 again. So. I want to have this saved up before the end of the year. However, I am on track and probably will be completing it a lot sooner. So for me, I would like to have $6,000 saved in here. I feel like that's a really safe buffer. Um, with my lifestyle currently, I think that will be enough for me. Christmas, I'm going to be adding to because I like to add to this one every single payday. So when I shade in a light bulb on this tracker, it represents that I've added $20. So I've got 240 so far, and my end goal is 600. It is like honestly such a relief having this. Um, in the past at Christmas time, I would always just kind of wing it and I would throw like expenses on my credit card when I probably shouldn't have because I didn't necessarily have the money at the time. So saving a little bit each payday just makes me more financially prepared for when the holiday arises. This isn't just to cover gifts, this is to cover any activities that I have around the holidays as well. So it's just a lot less stressful because let's face it, the holidays are already a pretty stressful time when they shouldn't be, so. And vacation, I'm gonna be adding $50 too. I do try to add to this one too every single payday. There we go, do I have 100? No. And if you're wondering how I've come up with all of these amounts, I do budget every single payday. I use Budget Bestie to figure out exactly how much I need to allocate where. Um, and I allocate every single dollar. So I give every dollar a purpose. There's that. And then let's move on to my 52 week savings challenge. I'm gonna be filling one envelope today, which is $40. When this challenge is done, I'm going to have $2,024 saved, which is pretty awesome. And this will also be going towards a vacation. So I like to try to go away in January because I get time off from my, um, my day job. So yeah, that along with the vacation savings that I have going on should be enough to cover me for a week somewhere. And then the last savings challenge we have today is my 100 envelope savings challenge. So this I started mid-January and it's my goal to completely finish it <clears throat> in less than six months. Last time it took me just a little over six months, so I'm trying to beat that this time, which means I need to finish this by like July if I want to do it at the same time frame. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be doing um, three pockets because with this money, I also got paid out from YouTube. So I like to put my YouTube paycheck towards my 100 envelope savings challenge. I did th put 30% aside. To, um, it's in a high interest savings account to cover my taxes. So the difference that I have to cash stuff from my paycheck from YouTube is $130, which is great. So thank you so much if you're watching my content. It really does help me so much. So I'm going to be putting $80 in here. And then I also budgeted for this as well. And then I'm going to do, let's see here, pocket 46, we'll be getting 50. Oops. And then we're gonna do one more. 20, 30, 
55 here. Okay. What did I say? I have 20, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Oh my gosh, I'm not feeling well. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, there we go. We are done with gash stuffing. Let's shade in. Ignore this too. I would never send this out to a customer, but I couldn't put it to waste. So I'm using the non sufficient tracker here. Okay, 77. I also did 39 and 46. Wait, just kidding. 51. Yay, it's coming in so well. This is awesome. All right, so that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. I'm so sorry, I'm totally a space cadet today. But anyways, thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions, I would love to hear from you. Be sure to drop it in the comments below. Thanks, everybody. Bye.